Hi everybody, David Bowne here from the Bowne Golf Academy. I just thought it'd be very interesting to compare two swings of Justin Rose who had just won the WGC tournament, the Cadillac Championship at Doral. Um, what a great win that was for Justin. And I've got two swings here. One on the left is Justin playing um, an iron at the WGC in Dove Mountain just a few weeks back. And on the right is Justin playing an iron from 2002. So this is about a 10 year gap. And I just thought it would be interesting to see a few differences um, since Justin's been working with Sean Foley. What we see here, I must say that they're not quite at the same angle. And um, Justin is looking a little taller in the left hand one. But even so, we can see that um, Justin is definitely looking a little bit more upright with his posture. His arms are hanging down more, much closer. His hands are much closer to his legs than the one on the right. And this will um, have quite a big significance as we go through the swing. So it's interesting to see what changes he has made. Now as we go back, I'm going to have a look at the swing on the right first. So this is his 2002 swing. And one thing we notice immediately is that his hands, his club, and his arms all move away from that circle. And they're kind of getting a little bit separated as he goes away. We can see this. just click over to the left hand screen, this is 2012, a few weeks ago, and you'll notice immediately that Justin moves his trunk, his arms and his chest much more together in a more synchronized way. So his hands are coming more, slightly more inside his line as we go back. His arms and his hands are much more connected to his body and his trunk. The earlier swing, we can see, gets a little bit out of sequence and his hands and his wrists, his arms, the club are working in a little bit of a different direction. A bit more of a lifting motion on this one. As we take him further up, we can see that his left arm, when his left arm is parallel to the ground, it's much more positioned in the middle of his chest here. The line up here, we can see that uh, it's much more in the middle of his trunk. As we get Justin swinging more, into his backswing, we'll see that his left arm is more across his chest, so it's a little bit deeper position. And again, it's more matched up with what his trunk is doing. So again, his arms, his body, and his club there is much more synchronized, which has got to lead to more consistency. We'll take Justin up to the top here. swing. And the other big difference we're going to see here is that because his arms work much better with his body turn, you can see his right elbow is much more down by his side here. His arms are again more connected, more synchronized. The one on the right, his arms are a little bit more off his body. And obviously, as he's taking the club back, separ <coughs> excuse me, separating his arms from his trunk as he went back, his arms are more separated here at the top of his backswing. So again, the one on the left is looking superior. We can 
see this little gap here in his right elbow. As we bring Justin down here on the right hand side, this one again on the left. So the club's a little bit more on his right forearm here compared to the one on the right. And he just keeps the club on really good plane coming down through the ball. He just looks so much more consistent when we're coming into the ball here, getting the impact. And again, on the right hand side, the one on the left, of course, is high speed and this one is just um, regular motion in 2002. So you see Justin is more taller, his posture was taller at the beginning. Shoulders a little bit more parallel to the target line on this left hand one. But I was watching him uh, a couple of weeks ago at the WGC and he looked very good. His ball striking was very, very consistent. I thought he'd do really well at the match play, but um, that's match play. And since then, he's been very, very consistent. Now, the other thing just to look for in the 2002 swing is if you note his club face here. The left hand swing, the most recent one, you can see that there's less rotation of the club face than there was before in 2002. So all these things adding up are going to give him more consistency. We'll ally that with his great short game, his bunker shots and his putting. He gets quite streaky with his putting. But you can see that here is a player now that uh, is really going to be consistent pretty much week in, week out. And this new swing is much more consistent. The old swing, yes, he could play well now and again. But now this one is, is looking very, very good. And I know which swing I'd rather have. So there we have it, Justin Rose, who coming up to the Masters, who's got... Um, Good record there he's had some very very good rounds it's just a question of can he do it for four rounds but this swing is working well he's obviously got a lot of confidence in it and um, it should be interesting to see how he goes now as we come up through into his follow through and we compare this one with his older swing you can see how much more his arms travel on it's a much fuller swing. So all in all, he's tightened his swing up. He's gained much more consistency week in, week out on the PJ Tour. And that's why he's delivering uh, great results. Thank you.